This episode of the ResortLoop.com podcast is brought to you by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. Joffrey's is proud to be the official specialty coffee of Disney. Enjoy drinks and pastries at Joffrey's kiosks throughout the parks and check out the Disney specialty coffee collection only at Joffrey's.com. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Once again, if you're traveling to Epcot, please remain on board. You'll need to change monorails at the Transportation and Ticket Center. Hey, Looper Nation. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. I'm Bob Collar. This is ResortLoop.com. This is episode 252, and Bob... Tim? This is a show that's been stewing for like a week or so. Has it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it has. These are our Very favorite excited. shows. Very excited about it. I'll always love the Looper listener polls. Absolutely. I love listening, getting uh, feedback from our listeners, talking about something we put out there. I got to tell you, uh, our listeners, the best listeners on the face of the planet. I don't care what anybody says. Absolutely. They are fun. Not- and nobody's saying they're not. I'm just. <laughs> if they are, you send them our way. That. We will take care of them. We know That's people. Right. We'll take them out back. <laughs> Come on. We'll take them out behind the uh, American Adventure and the woodshed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we get started, Tim, uh, can I throw a couple of shout outs? Um, we had uh, a couple of listeners from uh, uh, talking about our last episode that, with the smartphones in the parks. Yes. Uh, uh, new listener. Uh, well, I don't know if he's new. At least the first time uh, he's contacted us. Scott Jimmy Gurky. The Scotty. Now Sorry. Scott's doing the same thing. <laughs> all the women have three names. Now Scott's got to have three names. I don't know. No, that's all right. He was probably that's an important right. guy. Important guy. Well, he is. He's a big deal. He's he's part of Looper Nation. Absolutely. How could he not be? So uh, it says, uh, I couldn't agree more. Put the phone down and enjoy your surroundings. Said the person commenting uh, yeah, commenting via his cell phone. <laughs> uh, you never know when you'll see some something in person again. Soak it all in. There are people uh, that paid. There are people that are paid to take a photo. Uh, you are currently taking uh, that greatly surpasses surpre- surpasses your skills. If I could speak today, it'd be great. Uh, look at those photos instead. I'm talking about a picture when you get a good view of something, but uh, when someone records a fireworks show, really, there's nothing worse than standing behind someone that's holding their phone up to record the parade or fireworks. You you've dealt with that, haven't you? Absolutely. Unless you're at have you know top of the line equipment and you're an actual photographer or videographer. It never looks as good when you get home anyway. Right, right. So, uh, and and, and he, he's got a point there. He says, if I got $5 for every time they viewed that recording in their lifetime, I'm guessing I'd make 5 to 10 bucks max. Right. Uh, he says, uh, okay, got to go. Need to check Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Make sure I haven't <laughs> missed anything in the past five minutes. But if I did, I'll pin it so you can see it, what I missed. Very nice. Thank you, Scott, for that. Thank you, Scott. And uh, we also heard from uh, John Earnhardt. Uh, about the same topic, said, uh, great show and a good reminder, guys. I was at Walt Disney World last uh, year and looked at a text during the parade. Get this, Tim. Okay. He says, I heard someone yell, stop looking at your phone. Oh. I looked up, and it was one of the lost boys in the parade. Uh. <laughs> Much better than being honked at in traffic. So Exactly. So there you go from uh, <laughs> our last episode. Put those phones down and uh, enjoy the parks, man. Enjoy you you got to soak it all in. So, Tim. Yes, Bob. What are we going to talk about today? Well, as we kind of hinted at the beginning of the show, this is uh, one of our favorite feedback kind of shows. Talking about the Looper listener poll. Absolutely. I like how how you did this. When you put this one out there, it's the top five Disney leading men. Yeah. But you went went kind of old school Disney. It's both animated and. Well, absolutely. No, live action. I loved it. Absolutely. Well, wait till you see, hear some of our uh, our uh, responses okay. from some of our listeners. Um, uh, may I just say, um, this was the the ladies got a little out of hand. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> we we have uh, edited and uh, censored <laughs> some some of the comments. Um, so. <laughs> The ladies were a little excited about do we, this. Do we need some swanky music in here now? <laughs> we we might need some swanky music. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah, uh, you know, with the passing of uh, Dean Jones, one of our favorites, yeah. you know, we thought, 
Disney has had some fantastic leading men, so um, let's put it out there to Looper Nation. Let's find out who their favorites are. So, uh, Tim, why don't you uh, start us off? We're going to read some of the comments first, and then uh, and then we'll jump into the list. So why don't you start us off? Absolutely. Uh, Super Looper and a member of the blogging team, Tamara Spidell. She goes, how can no one have mentioned Flynn Ryder? Hello, Smolder. <laughs> See hope, what I'm saying? I hope I said, See what I'm talking hope, about? Hope I said that. Right. She goes, um, yes. <laughs> well, the rest of mine her, would also be the genie. Tony Stark, if we're including Marvel. And I think we can now, legally. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow and Wally. Mm. There, there you go. Wally, you know, he's in love with uh, Eva. So, you know. Yeah, well, pretty soon I think he's going to be turning his way towards a little R2-D2. Oh, Or a hey. little, maybe some BB-8. You know, nobody mentioned R2-D2. Oh. You know, bring that up. How about that? Yeah, he's a leading man, sure. He's up there. Uh, Lori Gother <laughs> says, uh, number one for her, Johnny Depp. Yes. Can't help it. He's such an amazingly diverse actor, and the fact that he's a bit on the sexy side doesn't hurt either. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Was I talking out loud? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought my mic was off. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and edit point. Uh <laughs> Uh, number two for uh, Lori is Prince Eric. Love his eyes. Oh, my. I, I think she said a little higher. I, don't, I don't <laughs> hope her voice wasn't that. <laughs> I, I doubt it. <laughs> Prince Charming. I have admired him since I was a little girl. How about that? Oh. And uh, how about this one? Quasimodo. A heart to die for. Oh. And, of course, Lori's final one. Uh, Aladdin would love to fly on that carpet and hear him sing to me. Oh, yeah. How about that? Give me some tassel. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what that meant. Now to think about that, it. Well, that's what the carpet said. <laughs> well, this is what he said. Yeah. Oh, to, well, or genie so. said that to the, to the carpet. Right? Absolutely. That's where I got it. I don't exactly. know what you people that's are thinking out there. Right. What are you talking about? I'm going to jump ahead to Dustin. All right. <laughs> he says, in no particular order, John Ratzenberger wouldn't be a Pixar movie without his voice somewhere. Exactly. Nothing. Some, also, Johnny Depp didn't mention he was sexy though. Uh, <laughs> Robert, another vote for Robert Downey Jr. There you go. Oh, and here's another one on the list: Harrison Ford. Yeah, Han Solo, Han Solo and Indiana Solo. Jones. Need they say? Need he says? Need I say more? And then Walt Disney, the man that started it all. There you go. There you go. Is he a leading man? We're going to talk about that. I hope we do. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Patrick Janetti says uh, my type top five leading men numero uno. Has to be the mouse himself, Mickey Mouse. Oh, there you go. Number two, Johnny Depp. Oh, Johnny coming large. Why are we out of rum? <laughs> he says. <laughs> Number three for uh, Patrick is uh, your favorite, uh, Stitch. Oh. Shows his grumpy old mean side in the beginning and is a warm, loving hero by the end. Sounds like me. <laughs> No. More like you. Uh, number, grumpy. <laughs> the, uh, and number four, the beast. Oh, yeah. He says, see, please see number five above. Or uh, please see above. Yes. Stitch. Uh, number five for him, Robin Williams never had a friend like me. Oh, Robin Williams, yes. Absolutely. Let's see. Brian uh, Kern, number five for him, Harrison Ford. He goes between uh, Han Solo and uh, Indiana Jones. He's got it all wrapped up. It's a little odd to think of him as a Disney leading man, but then... Uh, you can thank the corporate mergers for that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Maximilian Shell. Look, if you can't get past the rest of the black hole. Oh, who's he kidding? <laughs> oh. You know, I got to see that movie again. It's been a while. It has been a long time for me, too. Uh, Mickey Mouse, after all, he was the leader of the club that's made for you and me. Absolutely. Spell it, Bob. M-I-C. K-E-Y. M-O-U-S-E. There you go. It's almost like our looper line. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Area code 414. WDW. Loop. <laughs> Number, like we practiced that. It is. It's like we've said that before. <laughs> Number two for Brian, uh, Walt Disney. I mean, come on. The leading man uh, for the whole shebang. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. And the pride of Kank- Kankakee. Oh, it took me a second there. Fred yeah. McMurray. No explanation needed. Like Fred McMurray. Oh, the come flubber on. man. Yeah. Nice. Uh, another one of our uh, uh, blogging team, Monica Pinto. Oh, Monica. Uh, she's got that great website of hers as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. she, uh, her number one, uh, Joe Kingman, AKA Dwayne, the rock Johnson. Yes. Uh, for the game plan. Remember he was in that uh, movie where he plays a football player. That oh, the little daughter, his daughter. Yeah. yeah. He's, she says, need I say more first? It's the rock. Second, <laughs> it's the rock. Oh my. Third, 
He falls in love with his daughter, and what woman doesn't want that? It just melts your heart. Lastly, what woman doesn't love The Rock? There you go. I I don't know. Yeah, is that her name? She really should have been Pebbles. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh. Anymore. Number two, Lee Shang of Mulan. By the way, my wife's favorite. All right. Okay. Uh, better known as who, Tim? Lee Shang. This wasn't Donny Osmond, was it? The one and only Donny Osmond. Was Nothing he just the singing voice, or is he the was he the speaking I, voice as well? I believe he was the whole the whole shebang. Wow, I know he's a soldier of love. <laughs> that I didn't know. <laughs> because every woman wants a strong warrior. <laughs> Please, he can admit he's wrong, and no other leading man in the Disney animated movies that I can remember looks that good without his shirt on. Oh, my. Where's that music? (laughs) Uh, Number three for Monica, Flynn Rider, Tangled, because he brings the smolder. Plus, he's witty, smart, loyal, giving, protective, fast on his feet. Finally, a Disney prince with character. Mm. Can you tell he's my favorite prince, she says? Yes. Number four, I was was shocked at this one, Gaston. (gasps) Gaston. He's the evil guy. He's an evil guy. See, women like bad boys. Ah, uh, that's what she says. The one at the meet and greet <laughs> at the Magic Kingdom. Because every girl likes a bad guy. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't disappoint. Right. Just, yeah, just met him a couple of weeks ago, she says, and he can sure make me laugh. Who doesn't want a man that can make you laugh? If only you could do that. If only I could. It's always the bad guys. The guy with the motorcycles <laughs> and the tattoo and the leather. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> Number nine. nine. Yeah. Uh, number five, Frank Walker, a.k.a. George Clooney from Tomorrowland. Oh, yes. Because even though I fell asleep during the movie, <laughs> it's George Clooney. <laughs> Are you with me, ladies? She says. And some men. <laughs> and some men. <laughs> <laughs> Lou uh, Ianello, number one, Jack Sparrow. Everyone else was a distant second. There you go. Yeah, that was all Lou, uh, Lou gave us. Yeah. So. Uh, Kelly Fico says, hi, guys. I know you always advise against it, but I've recently finished listening to all 200 plus episodes to catch up. Oh, Kelly. I hope she had a doctor's excuse. Oh, she had to have something. Something. Because <laughs> you got to be checked out before you do something like that. Uh, I'm an official super looper now. Yes, you are. Love, yeah. Love what you do. Thanks so much. This oh. is my first looper listener poll, Kelly says. So oh. she, I am so excited. Oh, thank you, Kelly. As I brainstormed the many Disney movies, I found this to be harder than I thought it would be. You know, a lot of our polls are like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very difficult. You know, you got to think about it. Uh, number five for Kelly Fico is uh, Professor uh, Brainerd in The Absent-Minded Professor, Fred McMurray. Yes. Simply a classic. Number four, Mark Garrison in The Ugly Dachshund, better known as Dean Jones. Dean. I say Dean Jones in any Disney movie, but this was my favorite character he played. She said. Okay. How about this one? You like this guy, Elliot in Pete's Dragon. Oh, Elliot. Lovable, loyal, and fun. Yeah. Number two is Carl Fredrickson in Up, trying to save the home he and his wife made together and bringing it to the place they always dreamed of in her honor. Need I say more? And number one for uh, Kelly Fico was uh, uh, leading man in Disney movie was Ichabod Crane. Ooh. Yeah. Off the grid. I love it. How about that? He's smart. He's a teacher, after all, funny, romantic, and his fear makes him relatable. And the mystery of not fully knowing what happened to him makes him uh, an even more interesting leading man. And she throws in Jiminy Cricket for honorable mention. Oh, Jiminy. So, Kelly, thank you for that. Thank you for uh, listening to 200 episodes. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So, Tim, those those were just a few. And like I said, we had to censor. Some of the ladies. Come oh, on. Yeah, we did. Settle down. Uh, we had, uh, of all of these uh, leading men, we had uh, 69 leading men mentioned. How about that? Oh, oh, that's awesome. That's a lot. That is a big, uh, I don't know what I would maybe figure like 20, but 69 different. Well, figuring in the animated too, but still, that is a lot. That is, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Uh, let me just throw a few out there that were, were mentioned, but not in the top five. Okay. We had uh, Emilio Estevez from Mighty Ducks. Okay, yes. How about, how about him? Uh, Jim Cummings, who does all those voices now. Oh, he does very, Tigger and Pooh now. And very talented. Very talented. Uh, Rick Moranis made it. Really? How about, how about that? Nice. Yeah. Um, Baymax. Gotta love Baymax. Oh, Baymax. He's just got such a good heart. Uh, Bill Bixby was in there. Jeff Bridges from Tron. Oh, okay. 
Uh, let's see. Who else? Uh, Chris Evans and Chris Pratt. Of course, Chris Evans, Captain America. Chris Pratt, Star-Lord. I was surprised they didn't get more votes. Um, and um, uh, let's see. Where's he at? Ah, he's one of my favorite. Oh, Fess Parker, Davy Crockett. Gotta love him. Oh, yeah. Old school. Yeah, old school. Old school. Uh, and Phil Harris, one of my, one of my all-time favorites. He, he played uh, Baloo the Bear and Th- Thomas O'Malley, the alley cat from uh, the Aristocats. So uh, all those made it. There was a, or, or were mentioned. There were a whole lot more, uh, a ton more David Ogden Steers, who was uh, uh, Cogsworth and Radcliffe and uh, Jumba at, on uh, Stitch. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Uh, that they did not make the top five. Are you ready, Tim? I am ready. For your top five Disney leading men voted on by Looper Nation. Bring it, Bob. Bring it. Tied for number five. There were three gentlemen tied for number five. Wow. Um, Harrison Ford, Dean Jones, <gasps> and Dick Van Dyke. Oh, very nice. I thought Dean Jones would have gone a little higher. I, You know what? I would be thrilled to be mentioned. Oh, which, by the way, you and I, no mention. I don't I don't understand that. Well, we, you know, we do a very complicated roles. That's true. That's <laughs> Very artsy. Yeah. We, we put the little hot dogs into rolls. and um, that's, <laughs> At Casey's. <laughs> that's, <yeah. laughs> All right. Go on. Moving on. Yes. Number four. Tied for number four. There were three tied for number four as well. We had Tim Allen. <gasps> yes. T- Tom Hanks. Oh, yeah. And one of my faves, Kurt Russell. Oh, all superstars in the Disney world. My goodness. I know. How about some of these? If you think about it, how about some of these names that I'm reading off here um, that that worked with Disney? These these are some big names. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Tim oh. Allen, you forget about how, how many Disney movies he made with all the Santa Claus movies. Oh, exactly. And being Buzz Lightyear. Oh, my gosh. Uh, exactly. Absolutely. So uh, coming in uh, tied for number three, just two guys tied for number three. Mm-hmm. Uh, and really, this is kind of cool. Because they both played the exact same role. Oh, that's a good trivia question. How about that? Tied for number three, Robin Williams and Fred McMurray. Oh, okay. Both played in Flubber. Wow. How about that? That is incredible. That's pretty cool. That is. I thought that was cool. Number two in the top five Disney leading men, the very own, our favorite, Mickey Mouse. Oh, very good. Now... That brings me back to what I said. Is Walt Disney a leading man? He was the president of the company. He ran the whole the whole shooting match. Is he a leading man? I'm going to say no, because I don't think he would consider himself a leading man. I'm going to say yes. You would. You disgust because, me. <laughs> <laughs> because he was the original voice for Mickey Mouse. True. But I, I really think if you were to ask him, he would not consider himself a leading man. He was the lead. <laughs> no, he has to be because he he got Mickey started. If he hadn't, a, if it hadn't have been Walt's voice, what voice would it have been? It might not have. Mickey might not have been as successful. It, M- Walt knew Mickey well enough. Well, that's, maybe it would have been Lillian's voice. Well, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she did name him. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll leave that up to discussion on the uh, uh, Lubernation. Absolutely. The number one Disney leading man. You got your rum ready? Oh, you gave it away. Mr. Jack Sparrow, Johnny Depp. Wow, yeah. How about that? Very so. nice. Hey, he's he's done a ton of work for Disney, even not including the uh, Pirates. Absolutely. Franchise. Absolutely. I mean, honestly, Ed- wow. And and very much so uh, uh, a, a Disney legend now. Uh, most of these guys that I've mentioned, Disney legends. So um, you know that's uh, that's uh, uh, Looper Nation really knows what they're talking about. Yeah, they do. That is uh, that is awesome. That is your top five Disney leading men voted on by Looper Nation. Thank you guys so much for particip- big participation. Like I said, uh, sixty nine people wow. uh, mentioned uh, for uh, even Kermit the Frog. How about that? Very nice. Can I throw in an honorable mention? Yeah, absolutely. Because I was having this conversation with a friend of ours from work. You know who he mentioned who was totally off my radar? Who's that? Don Knotts. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you got a lot for the Apple Dumpling Gang. Apple Dumpling Gang rides again. Hot lead and cold feet. He was in uh, the Herbie. You know, goes to Monte Carlo. Right. Right. 
Yeah. Tim Conway, another another, another great one. Another great one. So I just you know, I thought we should probably just mention those, even though they weren't in the voting. But sometimes you forget how much Don Knotts did with the Disney company. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Who would who would your favorite be, Tim? I'm going Dean Jones. I just looked at his body of work. Yeah. He did so many Disney movies that we just well, I just love today that Yep. Yep. He's I'm, I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna go really about the same time period as you, but I'm going to go with Kurt Russell because, uh, you know, watching him as a computer that wore tennis shoes and all of that, it was just, you know, he, I really enjoyed watching Kurt Russell in the Disney film. So, um, takes you back to your childhood a little bit more. Oh, that was another good call. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, Tim. Yes, Bob. That is all I've got. Oh, well, I'm really looking forward to this next looper listener poll. So everybody keep your eye out on our social media. It's going to be big. I love it. Going to be big. We've been working on this one for a while. Everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, You've been listening to The Gateway to the Magic. I'm Tim Scott. You can find me on Twitter at Resort Loop Tim, on Facebook at Tim Resort Loop Scott, and the website, resortloop.com. You had to think about that one for a while? Well, I said Gateway to the Magic too early, so (laughs) usually I say that at the end. So I'll say it again. (laughs) (laughs) I'm Resort Loop Bob on the Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget our Facebook page. That's where we post a lot of these uh, Looper listener polls. Oh, and Tim, by the way, thank you for putting uh, the Looper listener poll out there um, to our email, folks. Uh, we got a, a huge response. You know what? Email in our survey that we're still going through, and we're implementing things uh, solely from that. That was one of the big responses we got. They'd like to. Some people don't want to use the Facebook or to use uh, Twitter. Yeah. So they'd really like to uh, contribute using uh, you no know, email. So we threw the letter out there, and I think we got a lot of good feedback from that. We did. We did. So thank you very much for that, everybody. And uh, where else can they listen to? You can always find us on the Stitcher. Everybody, thanks for joining us. And once again. This is still the gateway to the magic. (laughs) See you, everybody. All right, listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice. Here comes the smolder. This is kind of...